Managing a population of Microsoft Windows systems can be challenging, especially if too many users have local admin rights. These allow them to install or change whatever they like, which can cause security concerns or clash with other applications. Fooling the user to install malware can take many forms. Phishing a user via an email is unfortunately still very effective. Additionally, useful software with malware wrappers is available all over the internet. Many of these will require local admin rights to install. One of the primary concerns around removing local admin rights is that it will mean more work for your IT team, as users always need local admin rights to install new applications or run updates for older ones they're already using. This is why we've built our privileged endpoint management product. In essence, it allows organizations to remove local admin rights from users, but associate those rights with approved legitimate applications and processes, whilst auditing every elevation. With PEM in place, your users can get on with their jobs and the IT team will feel safe knowing that only approved applications can be elevated. However, there are so many different users with so many different requirements, it can be hard to know exactly what is and isn't a legitimate use case for different users. With PEMS Learning Mode, you can start by taking away all local admin accounts from day one. Users continue to work as normal while we learn baselines of what user groups really need. These baselines drive your first policies. If any applications are explicitly denied within PEN, these policies will always take precedence, even in learning mode. Running applications with PEN is as simple as going through the Windows right-click context menu and selecting Run as Administrator with PEN. From learning, you can switch into default mode, where only explicitly approved applications can be elevated. If a user then encounters a new application they need to run, they can request an allow policy. This request will be sent to the PEM server and PEM admins will then be notified to let them know there's a new request ready for them to review. Once the request has been approved, subsequent users who wish to use the new application will be granted automatic access, providing the policy applies to an AD group they are in. With PEM policies, it is the process that is elevated, not the user's accounts. This means PEM maintains user context. Therefore, files, etc. are saved to the user's defaults, rather than administrator defaults. In cases where a user might be working remotely and is unable to connect to the corporate network to receive new policies, PEM has a solution to keep your users productive. PEM's temporary admin mode allows for the temporary elevation of rights for a set period of time. This can be initiated using a request response mechanism where an access code is provided. While temporary admin mode is active, PEM monitors all processes that are run elevated and will terminate processes that are explicitly denied by policy. These logs will be reported to the PEM server once the user is back online. For exceptional users who may require regular use of temporary admin mode, a self-approval feature is available in PEM. For users provided with the self-approval privilege, they would not need to request an access code to initiate a temporary admin session and can instead approve their own sessions. It's all about managing many different users and many different applications with minimal effort and maximum compliance. If you'd like to know more, please get in touch.